All right, here we have one of my personal banjos. It's a 1929 PB. That means plectrum banjo, original flathead from the factory. Um, has a Frank Neat neck on it. Let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> just saying so see what it looks like and uh, so basically the pot is all original original tension hoop original uh, presto tailpiece and if you want one without the horse I have somebody that wants my horse thing somebody put a horse on it original one piece uh, armrest everything's all original okay now it's got a frank neat neck which is a wreath pattern and uh, I did put some uh, different keys on it just so it would uh, play and tune better, but I will give you the original uh, tuners up here. And then we go to the resonator, and I'm going to take the resonator off right now. The resonator has been refinished, and really that's not a big deal at all on a banjo because all the sound comes from the head and it reflects from the inside of the banjo. So if it's refinished or finished original, it's going to sound exactly the same. Not so with a guitar, okay? So, uh, and normally when they refinish it, it means it looked really bad. So now it looks much better. And this was done a long time ago, so it actually looks pretty good. And then we look at the inside and we see the serial number of 9524-29, okay? And also we notice that less... Uh, Stabler bought this in Janu June 18th, 1933 uh, in Peoria, Illinois. Just people would write their name in it. It's got the chalk outline. Okay, so this banjo's been through th three different collectors, and uh, so it's absolutely what it says it is, because when you buy something like this, particularly if it's your... <coughs> First banjo, there's a lot of fear. Hey, is is this part right? Is this part not right? Okay. Now, so we'll talk about a couple other things. So let's look at the uh, the rim. Okay. And we'll look at the serial number. I'll turn it around here. And uh, let me see that serial number right in here. So the serial number matches the shell. So it's nine five two four dash two nine. Now. Uh, somebody along the way had refinished this shell. It actually looks original, but it's been refinished. And uh, some of these did not have a label. This one probably did, so the label's not there. But the, uh, the machining, the way the numbers were set, it absolutely is original. And, of course, you've got the original flathead ring, which has been confirmed by several people. Every nut, everything's original. The only other little, and I, I consider this extraordinarily minor, but if I turn this over, uh, then we'll notice at the edge of the armrest there's a little crack. And I guess you can see that. You can see the cameraman. It's right in this area. Okay. And that crack is almost insignificant. Uh, it has nothing to do with the structure of it and... 
I just thought I'd point it out just to be complete. Okay. So, long story short, if you want an original flathead and you don't have seventy or eighty thousand dollars to spend, you can get the same sound, the same feel, everything with this banjo. Plus, we can guarantee that it's authentic. So, if you have any questions, give me a call at 404 218 8580, and I'll be glad to talk to you about it. And we're also putting it on uh, banjowarehouse.com, a bunch of pictures. And, uh, you know, we're really kind of do this as a hobby. So, you'll notice a lot of times people buy banjos like this, like myself, to play for a little while. And when we sell them, we either make a little bit of profit. Sometimes we sell them for what we have in them. So if you have any questions about this, just uh, give me a call and I'll be glad to talk to you. We're also near the Atlanta airport, so if you want to fly in to see this banjo or other banjos, just uh, give us a call. You can also talk to Andy at 404-372-5482 and Banjo Warehouse. Uh, it's BanjoWarehouse.com. So we'll look forward to seeing you. And uh, if you do decide to come visit, give us a call a day in advance because we might be out looking for banjos.